Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna paint a realistic peacock perch and we're starting right now. Alright guys, so to start with I am applying a dark brown wash from Vallejo and that's just to create that darkish undercoat, it's to create a little bit of texture underneath the other layers that we're gonna put on later on. And now that our dark brown layer is done, I'm going to shoot a little bit of Wicked Gold Chrome on there, but not too much so that you still see a little bit of the brown texture shining through the gold. And now again with that same brown wash, I am creating just a little bit more texture on top of the gold again. I want the flanks to be a little bit brighter, so there I am using a Vallejo Game Air Sun Yellow, which is a semi-opaque, and if you spray it very lightly, that gold pearl is still gonna shine through, but everything is gonna be a little lighter, it's gonna be a little bit more yellowish. And now I'm gonna dip a Vallejo Dark Brown Wash with a paper towel onto that yellow, and that is to create a little bit more of a skin-like feeling. And to push back those dark spots that we created with the paper towel, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Vallejo Polished Gold on top of that. And that's gonna push back all those brown spots a little bit more back into the background. Now, a peacock bass has a green back, so that's why we're gonna use a dark green wash from Vallejo. And with that, we're gonna create our first green texture on top of the back and a little bit on the sides of the lure. So now the first layers of green are laid out and we're gonna bind these all together with a little bit of Wicked Detail Moss Green. By spraying that over there we're gonna bind all that green together and create lighter and darker nuances of green. Of course every peacock bass has that nice orange belly or at least an orange shine on the, on the underside of the belly. So I am using Vallejo Game Air Hot Orange here and I'm lightly gonna spray a little bit of orange onto the belly. For the gill plates I am gonna use a little bit of for the gill plates I am gonna use a little bit of Game Air Dead White and I'm gonna reduce this quite a lot so it becomes a little bit more transparent so that I can carefully spray this onto the gill plates and create a nice transition from lighter to dark. I also sprayed a little bit of white onto the gill plates just to make them a little lighter again and now with some Vallejo Sun Yellow I'm gonna make some some parts of the head and the mouth a little bit lighter yellow again. And now we're gonna dry brush the gill plates and by dry brushing we're only gonna paint the surface so the cracks and crevices are gonna stay white. I tried this first with a wicked fluorescent red but the paint was a little bit too transparent so it would take a lot of layers to finally get that red visible. So that took too long so I changed to a wicked opaque pyro red and that color really covers well so that was visible after two layers. Now to get that white stick out a little bit more inside of the gill plates I am just painting a little bit of game color dead white inside the gill plates again so that we create a lot of contrast there. Now with some Tintown Vallejo Game Air White I'm just painting those two fins on the back a little bit white again because I want to make them blue and to make that blue a little bit more visible we need a white base coat. But note that I'm using a very reduced white so that I still got some texture showing underneath and that white is not plain white. There's a little bit of definition going on there. Now that that white is dry I am using Wicked Fluorescent Aqua and that really color matches the blue fin that the Peacock Perch has. And now with a paintbrush I'm just applying a few little dots of Wicked Opaque Daylight Blue which is a really nice and bright blue and it's really opaque so it covers really well and sticks out on that fin. Now if you would look up reference pictures for a peacock bass then you will see that there are a lot of different color schemes. Some of them have no spots on the body and others have a lot of spots. So I went for something in between and I decided to do a few spots on the belly and of course the typical spots on the gill plates. 
Now to do these spots I just laid down a little bit of black first and that is just to know where my spots will be and what shape they will have. Because we're gonna go over that with a little bit of wicked opaque bismuth yellow vanadate later and that's to create that yellow line around those spots. But I like to layer them out first so that I know where to put my yellow. So now that our spots are laid out I'm using a little bit of wicked opaque bismuth yellow vanadate and now I'm just going around all those black spots and don't worry if you cover them a little bit too much because we're gonna use that same stencil and put that black spot back on there later on. So now I am going over that again with my stencil and that's gonna create that typical spot that a peacock bass has with that faded yellow edge. For the stripes I am using a little bit of Wicked Detail Black Magenta which is a nice and transparent color because if you if you again look up a few reference pictures of peacock bass then you will notice that the lining can be very different it can be can be barely visible it can have that yellow edge like the spots have or it can be really faded I went for a really faded one because I think that would look really nice on this lure with a little bit of wicked white I'm gonna make that belly really nice and white again and this is also to cover up all the spots that we created on the belly with those washes so don't worry if the washes get really messy because you can always layer another color of paint over there to hide them a little bit. Now with a little bit of a dark brown wash from Vallejo I am coloring those fin beams and then later on we're gonna push that a little bit back into the background with different colors. So now that our wash is dry I am using a little bit of white to push those fin beams a little bit more back into the background and make the lines more subtle. With a little bit of Vallejo Game Air Desert Sand, I am giving these fins a nice and natural darker yellowish color. And now with a little bit of Wicked Detail Sepia, I am making those edges of the fins a little bit darker to give it a little bit more depth. Now it's time to put the eyes in. I am using these realistic glass eyes from Lower Blanks and these really color match perfectly with the eyes of a peacock bass ready for a clear coat. Alright guys, our lure is finished and as you can see, it really looks realistic and those layers of pearl gold really shine through very neatly on this lure. And that red at the gill plates, that just really pops out and makes this lure so interesting. So yeah, this lure really turned out super cool. As always guys, I will leave a link in the description below of this video for all the materials that I use to paint this lure. And this will guide you to my web shop and if you would buy anything there you will be supporting me and the channel. If you got any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.